Well, folks, the time has come. It's time for us to say goodbye to Kmart. I'm here in Westwood, New Jersey, at one of the last three open Kmarts in the United States. And a month from the time I'm shooting this, this Kmart will also be closed, leaving only two Kmarts left here in the U.S. There's one in Long Island and one down in Florida. So we're gonna go shopping at this one, see what it's like inside. I know last year I went to the one in Avenel, New Jersey, which was, I believe, the fourth to last one to close, and that was quite a sad sight. So we're gonna go see what it's like at this one. Come with me. So I have to say, the storefront to this one looks very nice and new. Like, it looks like it's been recently repainted. Um, when I went to the one in Avenel, it was like very weathered looking. All the paint was starting to crack on this one. So it looks like this one's very nice looking, but sadly it won't be around for much longer for anyone to see it. One thing I always notice whenever I'm in a Kmart are these incredibly large vents they have up here in the ceiling. And they have them here too. So it looks like they still have some food on sale. Let's see if there's anything good. Looks like we got all kinds of coffee K cups and things. Oh, we got some nuts. Got some snacks here still on sale. I was expecting this to be completely cleaned out because usually when stores like this close, Food is usually the first thing to be cleaned off the shelf, but it looks like they still got some stuff here. Yeah, so it still looks like they have quite a bit of food here. Pretty interesting to see. Because usually cheap food is something people just come and scoop right up. I mean, you know, something everybody will go for. So it looks like they're still fully stocked on adult diapers. So if you're in need of some Depends, head on up to Kmart while it's still open because they're 30% off right now. Okay, so here's what's left of the DVD section. Do they have anything good? Vampire Wars. Lincoln's Army Battles the Undead. That sounds pretty fun. I don't know, these all look like really low budget knockoff movies. Nothing good, really. Definitely nothing I want to take home. You can get a home vlogging kit. Maybe I could become a vlogger. So it looks like we just have some odds and ends electronics. Look at how old this is. I wonder how, how long this has been here. The packaging is starting to yellow. It looks like we have some uh, kids party cups and things like that. We can see along this side wall they've started stripping out all the fixtures and things and we can just see the remnants of what's left. All this gross dust and stuff built up you know, over all the years of just uh, having all these racks here in place. And it looks like we've um, really cleaned out a lot of stuff here. Looking pretty bare. Like some of these aisles there's just like nothing left in them. There's just something really eerie about walking through a store with just empty shelves all over the place. And here we can see some mouse traps. I guess to catch any stray vermin in the store. 
but it's just it just feels kind of like up like you're in a, an apocalyptic movie or something when you you walk through these aisles of all these just empty shelves just completely cleaned out it's just really strange feeling and just look at how old some of these shelves are it's very worn out here we can see some of the fixtures on sale, just all different display racks and things like that. It's always interesting to see this when they start doing that. You know, I've always wondered if like, maybe I would take one home one day. Don't really have a use for one, but maybe someday I'll find a use for one and I can say, oh, hey, here's my uh, old Kmart table or something like that. Wow, they are even selling the ashtray from the front of the store. It's everything. Look at this, they're even selling the signs for the aisles that would hang above. You could take one of these home. I know some people who are like real enthusiasts for these things, they'd probably want to come and get one of these. And this is kind of neat. They have Kmart tape on some of these boxes with like the Kmart logo. I wonder if I could buy a roll of that. That would be kind of neat to have. Look at that. So they're selling all the old monitors and computers from the office, everything, nothing held back here. And if we look over here, they're even selling like all their old pricing guns, all their old routers and stuff like that. Just everything, their pegboard hooks. And again, I, I love this Kmart tape. I wish I could get my hands on some of that. Here we have more aisle signs. That's pretty cool and just all the keyboards and stuff from their office. You can get all the rolls of register tape. It's crazy. Let's take a walk back here. It looks like a big fixture graveyard. All these old shelves and stuff just for sale, nothing on them. And just look at how grimy this floor is where all these old shelves were. It's really, really bizarre to be in a place like this. Just uh, something that used to be a fully stocked store, just packed with people, and now it's just a ghost town. So what was this? Some kind of, um, this must have been for like different packets of clothing and stuff. Oh, and was this DVDs? This must have been like a DVD rack or something like that. We have an old, old Christmas tree here. And just up here, there must have been like signage or something. Kmart is no more. Once a giant of retail, now lays in ruin. Let's pour one out for Kmart tonight. Poor Kmart. You tried so hard but you just couldn't make it in this fast-paced environment. So I was kind of hoping to do sort of like a shopping vlog, kind of go through some products here, but there, there really isn't anything here to look at. It's all just empty shelves. Like I'm, I'm back here in what must have been like the garden and appliances stuff and it's just nothing but old fixtures just all kind of jumbled together. It's almost like, like a maze of old shelves. It's really quite something else, kind of a surreal experience. They got all these old bike wheels and inner tubes and stuff here. This must have been like extra parts from all the bikes they had on display. Yeah, check that out. Oh, look at how old that is. They're even selling all the old file cabinets from the offices. They're really just going all out with everything. <laughs> everything is for sale, nothing is tied down. Anything you want, come and get it. All right, let's see if we can get a peek into the old garden section. See if we can get a view of what's going on back there. So it looks like they have a lot of stuff just kind of wrapped up on pallets, old shelves and stuff. Probably going to be shipped back to a warehouse or something somewhere. So they have this whole section uh, taped off. 
And it looks like they're just staging all the uh, spare fixtures and stuff back there. This whole segment of the store just uh, being used for storage and stuff right now. They're really cleaning this place out. Let me walk around back here. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. I think this might be the office area. Yeah, it's probably the break room. Back here we have some more fixtures. And we can just see these grimy floors. Oh, look at these old office desks. Get a look at these. These must have been in their back office for a while. Look at these things. That's pretty neat. Look at this. Remember this? This is like the old TV stand that they would have at the school that they would wheel into the classroom when you'd be watching a video. I haven't seen one of those in such a long time. So here we have the tools and hardware section and it's not much left. But it does look like we have some Craftsman stuff still here. We got the classic Craftsman screwdriver set. Bet you everybody has those somewhere in their house. And here we can see more Kenmore stuff. I don't know if any other retailers have picked up the Kenmore brand. I know some of the brands have been picked up by other stores, like Craftsman you can get at Lowe's, but I, I don't know if Kenmore is gonna live on after Kmart and Sears all close up. So every time I come to one of these closing stores, like a Sears or a Kmart, I always see full pallets full of air conditioners. And I wonder if they're actually any good. I mean, these here are like $150 each, which seems like a good price for an air conditioner. Um, probably for small rooms, but they still look halfway decent. But I just, I don't understand why these aren't selling faster. I mean, it's a really hot summer. So this is kind of neat. Look at this old imprint from where the jewelry counter used to be here on the floor. We can just see the outline of it. You can just see the distinct shape of the jewelry counter completely stripped off right now. So it looks like they got some good kitchen stuff here. You can get a griddle, all kinds of small appliances and stuff. This is some decent stuff. A lot of these plates here. And just look at these boxes. Look at how faded they are. Like, I wonder how long these have been sitting on the shelves for. Just look at these bed sheets. These are absolutely hideous. These look like the wallpaper that was in my dining room when I was a kid back in like 1987. And just look at that. How much do they want for these? They want $55 for it. Wow. Okay, so up here in this section, it looks like this was like the kids and babies stuff. Um, not a lot left, but just just look at this with these uh, sort of checkered tiles. And again, just seeing all these old shelf scars on the floor. It's just really wild. Let's just take a little walk up here and see if there's, see what we can find. Still a lot of diapers. I'm kind of surprised at that. I would think like diapers and baby formula, selling at a reduced price, that would just be immediately gone from here. But it's still here. So it looks like the clothing se section is still pretty well stocked. Still a lot of stuff here, but it doesn't look like anything good or interesting. Just kind of really cheap, unattractive clothes, unfortunately. So I don't know if there's anything I really want to try and buy. Check these out, you can get some maroon camouflage trousers and you can wear them to the office. See this shirt here says 1990X on it, which commemorates the last year that Kmart was actually profitable. I think we looked at this sweater in my last Kmart video, but I think it's really neat that it still has the Roebuck brand logo, which was from Sears and Roebuck, which is also a store that's on its way out. But it's really neat to see something that still has that brand on it. 
So this is interesting. This is a shirt from Wet Seal, which is a defunct clothing chain that was popular in malls. And I think that closed down in uh, 2017. So it's just kind of strange to see one of their shirts here in one of the last Kmarts. This shirt's actually kind of cool. They don't have it in my size. If they did, I might actually get this, but I, I, I kind of like that. No, thank you. So this is kind of neat. They have these coveralls here with Die Hard brand and Craftsman brand on it. I wonder if you're still going to be able to get these with these brands on it, like after this store closes. I know Craftsman and Die Hard were owned by Sears and Kmart, and I wonder if they're going to be around anymore. I know Craftsman tools are still on sale, but I wonder if they're going to be selling like clothing with these brands on them. Alright, so this is kind of neat. I'm actually kind of tempted to buy these. You can get a pair of boots with the Die Hard logo on it. That's kind of neat, I'm not going to lie. Okay, you guys, let me show you my Kmart haul. We got honey bunches of oats, I got some Pringles, and I got a robot remote-controlled glow-in-the-dark cockroach. I feel like I could have some fun with this and uh, get into some trouble. And this is probably the last time I'll ever see a receipt from Kmart. I guess I'll have to hold on to this. Anyway, that's it for the video, and that's it for Kmart. After this one closes, there's going to be two left. I don't know how much longer those are going to hold on for, but I don't anticipate it's going to be very much longer. Really sad to see that a store that was once such a cornerstone of retail in this country has just fallen so far, um, and it's all due to poor management. It could have been handled a lot better. This place really could have um, thrived into the future, but unfortunately, that's not what happened. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I just want to give a shout out to Harrison. It was nice meeting you, and I wish you luck on all your adventures in the future. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.